what's up guys welcome back to my channel today i want to share with you a delicious pineapple dessert as you can see i have a nice juicy pineapple and even though it does not look yellow it is ripe and ready to eat how to know the pineapple is mature and it is going to taste good is these pike places should all be of the same size. Usually you find out that the top part has smaller spikes than the base. So just make sure that they're even and you will rarely go wrong with that when you're shopping for a pineapple. So let's get this guy cleaned up. I do not have some water coming through the tap. So I'm just going to pour out some water from a jug at the sink and just clean it all up. Once that is done, you can set it aside and using a cutting board or as I'm doing, just right at the sink, just cut the base and then start peeling it by putting your knife at an angle and then peeling it all the way around. Now the funny story is, I saw this technique from a guy selling pineapples on a wheelbarrow and he had a specific knife for every single thing that he did to that pineapple and I thought it was so cool. Anyway, I've been using this technique and it is super easy to peel since then and it is true You can learn anything if you just observe. I remember once a teacher back at high school during our first lesson I think it was an art class She said that if you want to become a great artist, you just have to learn how to be observant and that is very very true So as I peel this huge pineapple remember to like Comment down below what other kinds of desserts you enjoy and also subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content and in the meanwhile I'm going to place a link at the top right corner uh, so that you can see all other recipes that I have tried out and shared with the world. So anyway, I'm going to set the peel aside and just try to clean up all the black spikes that are remaining. And as I do this, I can see some parts of my pineapple are overripe and I have seen a dull spot. That means uh, my pineapple was kind of going bad. So that one, I'll just cut it out when I'm, I'm serving. So first of all, let me just clean up all these spiky things that are sticking out of the pineapple. So once that is done, I'm just going to cut into discs. This will depend on the number of people you or the number of people you're serving. So I'm just going to cut it into a few discs and then just prepare one so that uh, you can see how it goes. And yep, just like that. Now for this part, some people who like to farm can actually set this aside and do it uh, and plant to get another pineapple, but for me, I'm just going to send it away or throw it away. I'm just going to take one of the discs and then just cut it up and then serve in a bowl. You can enjoy it as is, but for me, I like to drizzle some flavored yogurt. I'm using here some cream bell mango yogurt and I absolutely loved it. I also like the Tuzo uh, vanilla one. It really tastes good with pineapple and just drizzle a little bit of it in it or more. It depends on how you prefer. So that's it. That's how I'm going to serve this to my little guy and like I mentioned you can serve it in dices or you can cut it up 
sprinkle, drizzle some yogurt onto it, and then just the rest I'm just going to store it away in the fridge, and that's just it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time. Bye.